Hi guys, welcome back to Ras Aquaculture. In this video, we will be testing out the solid removal capabilities along with some automation technology to see how well do these new boxes remove solids from its boxes to ensure that it has a clean environment for the crab. So stay tuned. So welcome back guys. For those that are new to RS Aquaculture, we produce weekly content on shrimp farming and mud crab farming with either RAS systems or BioFlock technology. So if you like to receive our weekly video notification, do like and subscribe so that you'll get a notification on our latest video and so that you do not miss out our latest contents. Alright, back to today's video. So as you might already know that these boxes are slightly a bit different from the ones that we are using is because it has an external overflow system as compared to a inbuilt standpipe system. So you can see we are able to control the water level inside the box by adjusting an external standpipe. And what we have actually done here in this configuration is to add in a valve that automatically opens every 20 minutes for about 20 seconds. This is for us to be able to adequately look at it in terms of how solid is being removed. And for today's test, we will be actually using shrimp feed. Uh, these are the bigger pellets. Uh, it is because in soft shell crab farming, some of the operators actually do use these kind of pelleted feed instead of trash fish to be used as a feed for their soft shell crab production. So in this video, we'll be actually testing out some of the solid removal efficiencies and we'll be capturing it through some of the time lapse with our GoPro mounted over here and then in later videos in another position which gives you a better angle on how the feed is removed. So we add in the, the feed into the boxes and this is what you actually get. So without the auto flush valve being open, what you see that a lot of feed is actually staying in the middle of the compartment which is actually a really crucial point because you do not want them to just simply exit the culture systems before the crabs have a chance to eat them. Alright, so you can see that with the inlet over here, it basically just, you know, sort of turns and swirls in the middle, allowing it to have access to the crabs that are going to feed on it. But you can check out the time lapse later on. So once the flush system has been activated, you can see the feed actually behaves slightly differently. So at this point, you can see it's all swirling in the middle. Right, then once the flush system is activated, then you will see some of the solids will start to move out to the external outlet, right? Uh, and of course, you know, every, every flush is not a full 100% complete. You probably need a few before we fully remove all of the solid. You know, at this moment, we're trying to test out different, different combination on the time to open the flush valve and how frequent to open the flush valve. So as you can see, we are still able to keep the boxes very clean after multiple flushes, right? And this is what we're actually currently testing out in our farms. So hopefully you like this video. And if you'd like to learn more about this technology, these new boxes and what are their solid removal system, do like and subscribe. We hope to see you back again at Rasa Culture. So stay tuned.